most Christians are good people, but the reason I'm making this detailed explanation video is because the evangelist, the polemicist, the apologist, they love to lie and they get permission from Paul. But I'm gonna show you and prove to you the curse of the lineage of David that comes from Jehoiakim and that the possibility is not there whatsoever. According to your Bible, according to what you believe, that Jesus cannot sit on the throne of David, as you claim. So let's go to Jeremiah 22. All right, we're in verse number 24, talking about Coniah. Who is Coniah? Son of Jehoiakim, right? We will look at the bottom right here. It says, what happens to Coniah? They are cast out, he and his descendants. Next verse, in the land they do not know. Verse 30, thus says the Lord, write this man down as childless, a man who shall not prosper in his days, for none of his descendants shall prosper, sitting on the throne of David and ruling anymore in Judah. So who is this person? None other than Jeconiah or Jehoiachin. Because this is important later on in Matthew. Now when we go to Jeremiah 36... Verse number 30, therefore, thus says the Lord concerning Jehoiakim, king of Judah, he shall have no one to sit on the throne of David and his dead body shall be cast out to the heat of day and the frost of night. I will punish him, his family and his servants for their iniquity and will bring on them the inhabitants of Jerusalem and on the men of Judah all the doom that I have pronounced against them, but they did not heed. Now, first Chronicles number three. Now, these were the sons of David who were born in Hebron and it gives the names all the way down so we can get a genealogical list. So what we want to do is we want to go all the way down to Josiah, who was the son of Ammon. This is the same genealogy uh, as is what is mentioned in Matthew, uh, except Matthew does make some mistakes. And that's another problem with the Bible. There's mistakes in the genealogy and in the genealogy of Luke. But who is the sons of Jehoiah? Josiah? Jehoiakim. Now, let's go to Matthew. This is the quote-unquote genealogy of Jesus Christ, which is problematic because it goes back to his stepfather, Joseph. Anyway, so what do we see in verse 11? Josiah begot Jeconiah. And as you see, something is off here right from the bat. What do we see is that Jeconiah, or Coniah, as mentioned in 1 Chronicles, was the grandson of Josiah. So Matthew completely erased Jehoiachim, which is strange. Why would Matthew do that?